What's up, I'm Cosentino, and on this particular video, I'm going to teach you a mind reading trick that will literally, well, blow people's minds. Believe me, you want to stick around for that. What's up, I'm Cosentino. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're brand new, thanks for coming along. On this particular channel, I teach you magic with everyday household items. If you're a regular, thank you so much for always believing. Now, I'm going to teach you an amazing mind reading trick right now. So if you haven't subscribed, do that right now. Turn on the notifications and let's get started. All right, so now the performance to this particular trick I've roped in my brother. He's usually behind the scenes. We've brought him out here because of COVID-19. This is the kind of talent I have to work with. Can you believe it? This is where it's come to. But I've got an awesome trick. I've got an awesome trick. So if you don't know, this is my brother, Adam. Say hi to everyone on YouTube. Hi, guys. You might have seen him actually on the TV specials. Yep, that's when he was younger, fitter, better looking. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, got an awesome trick. So Adam, what I need you to do is to think of a four digit number and you're going to write it down. Now, I want everyone to understand that I'm gonna turn around. I don't wanna know what's going on. You're gonna write down a four digit number, you're going to use a calculator, we're gonna do some equations, okay? Okay. All right, so think of a four digit number, I'll turn around so you see that my, my back's so I'm not watching. Four digit number, write it down, kind of large, so everyone can actually see it. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you've got the four digit number. Done? Yes, I do, yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now take that four digit number and just rearrange the digits. Make it a different number, a new number, okay? Okay. A new number. Do that right now. Good, you've done that? I have done that, yep. Okay, perfect. Now, you're going to subtract the numbers, okay? So subtract the larger, the smaller number from the larger number. Sure. And you'll get a brand new four digit number. Okay, use the calculator. Okay, and you've got a new new digit, new number. I do now. Okay, so you've got a brand new four digit number. Now, I want you to take that number and I want you to start to add it up. So for example, you might have a two and a three, so you'd say two plus three, and then it might be, uh, I don't know, a one plus one. So add them up individually, add those individual numbers up. Sure. So you can write it down first so everyone can see what you're doing and then you can add them up with the calculator. Okay. Okay, so. I'm still going. You're still going now. Have you added them up? Just about to. Okay, add them up and, and total it. Okay, have you done that? So do you have a two digit number or a single digit? I have a two digit number. Okay, perfect. I want you to now add those two digits together. Okay, remember that number, circle it, show the camera so I can't see. I'm just adding it up. Oh, okay, add it up, and then circle it and show the camera. That's your, your total, your conclusion, okay? Yep, all done. All done. Now, I mean, this is a, a seriously random number by you know adding numbers, changing the digits, subtracting, rearranging. Okay, I want you to turn the page face down so I can't see it. Yep, already done. And you remember the number? Yes. Okay, so I have a couple of books here. I want you to choose a book. It doesn't matter what book you choose. Choose any book you like. Uh -huh. It's up to you. Okay. Well, I've got a, a bestseller here, the uh, <laughs> Cosentino Children's Book, yeah, The Silver Thief. This is a great book. And this is one of my favorite books, The Last Great Magician, about Thurston, Howard Thurston. So, Adam, it's up to you. It is okay. a free choice. Oh, look. I'll go with The Last Great Magician. Because you think people think that because I've I set, think they, that set it up. I think you've set it up. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly right, I haven't yeah. set it up, but good. So, take that book, uh -huh. and I want you to turn to the number, the page, the number that you calculated, turn to that page. Okay. Okay. I won't look, I don't want to see what page it is. And then I want you to find the first word on that page. Okay? Okay, yep. The first word on that page? Yep. Can you remember what it is? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Do you want to close the book mm -hmm. so I can't see? You remember the word? Can I show the camera the page or not? Uh, do you know what? Don't, let's not do it yet. Let's okay. not do it yet. Just mm -hmm. you remember it, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, you got it? Mm -hmm. Think about the first letter in that word. Mm -hmm. 
and give it the first letter. Visualize it in your mind. Good. Is it? Is it F? Yeah. yeah. Now go. Is it a? Is it a four-letter word? Yes. Go to the last letter. Mm -hmm. It's a T. Yep, yeah, it is. Yeah. Is your word felt? <laughs> yes, it is. No. <laughs> show them. Make sure. Yeah, show them. It definitely is. Is it felt? The popcorn. Can you see that? Okay, before you can perform the trick, there's a few items you need that you can grab from around the house. You need to grab yourself a pen, so get that right now. You need a notebook or a notepad, go grab that. You need a calculator or a mobile phone, which has a calculator on it, and you need a couple of books. Go to your bookshelf, grab a couple of books, meet me back here, and then I'll give you All right, the secret, the method to this trick, it is a brilliant kind of self-working mathematical trick. Okay, so I'll write it down so you guys can follow along with me, but I'll talk you through it right now. You ask for a four digit number. Now my brother, he wrote down two, four, six, one. It does not matter what the four digit number is. You then ask your volunteer to rearrange the numbers, okay? So he's rearranged it, six, two, four, one. Then you ask them to subtract it. So two, four, six, one from six, two, four, one gives you a new four digit number, three, seven, eight, zero, okay? Now what you need them to do is to take those individual numbers and add them up. So he did a really good job, he made it really neat. He did three plus seven plus eight plus zero equals 18. Now. Sometimes you'll land on a two digit number, like we did, which is 18. Sometimes you'll land on a single digit. When it's a single digit, it will automatically be the number nine. In this particular case, we have to do an extra move. It was 18. You asked him, was your number a two digit number or a single digit? If it's single, it will be a nine. If it's two digits, you know you need to add them up, which will be one plus eight equals nine. If you follow these steps, you will always end up at the number nine. So that's a kind of self-working mathematical trick that gets you to the number nine. That's the first thing you need to understand, number nine. I'm gonna quickly recap what it is. Again, four digit number. Ask them to rearrange the four digit number. Ask them to subtract the four digit number. Ask them to add up the individual numbers. If you get a two digit number, add them up. If you get a single, you'll be on the nine. You always end up at the number nine. That's the mathematics. Now what you do is this. You grab any book that you like. Now, they really are real books, regular books. They're from my bookshelf. I chose my own book because, you know, self-promotion, it's always good. And you go to page nine, because remember the number's always going to be page nine, and you memorize the first word. In this book, it's felt. In my Cosentino book, if you go to page number nine, the word is roll up over here. You need to memorize those words. That's it. On page number nine, at the top, memorize those words. You do the mathematical calculations. You know that you're always gonna end up at the number nine. You ask your volunteer to go to that page, to look at the first word. And now the acting, the presentation, the showmanship comes in and you pretend to read their mind. Don't just say, felt. You act it out, you say, Think of the first letter in your word. I think it's an F. Think of, wait, wait, wait. Is it a four letter word? Of course, you already know all this. It is a four letter word. Go to the last letter, concentrate on the last letter. It's a T. Is your word felt? You need to build up the presentation. That way it really feels like you're extracting the information from their mind. But of course, you already know what it's going to be. And that is the actual secret and the method to one of my favorite mind reading tricks. A few little tips that will help you with this trick because there's a little nuances that make the effect far more powerful, far more magical. Okay, the first thing is 
you need to be able to get them to the number nine. So the instructions, your instructions need to be very clear, very precise. You can't stumble and go, um, uh, so a four digit number, now I need you to, um, uh, um, uh, 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 you can't do any of that. You need to understand the steps. So once again, the steps, four digit number, rearrange the number, subtract the number, add them up. If you get two digit number, add it up again, you'll end up at nine. If it's a single digit, you'll always be at nine. This needs to be dead set clear. It also needs to feel at the same time, kind of hands off. Oh, think of um, a four digit number because it is really a random four digit number. Um, uh, just rearrange the numbers. So to some degree, you need to know your script 100% and be really precise, but then you need to add a little bit of flavor to it where you, you make it feel more casual than what it actually is, but they need to follow those steps. Excellent, so you end up at number nine. Grab a book where when they turn to page number nine, the word isn't the or and or a. Uh. So you have to flick through a few books and find a good word, felt, roll up, uh, you know, something that, that, that they're going to remember and something that feels more difficult than a very simple word. And of course, you need to remember what the word is. Then you need to put on the acting. That presentation is so important. So understand the mathematics, work on the acting, work on the presentation, make sure you remember the words and you truly have an awesome trick. One last thing I need to say about it. Remember, you're getting to the number nine. So it doesn't need to relate to a book. If you get creative, it could relate to a packet of cards. Uh, you could have uh, the ninth card stacked in a particular position. It could be uh, anything. You, you can really get creative here using that magic number nine. There you go. All right, guys, that is it. Pretty much my favorite mind reading trick. Practice it, learn your script, have lots of fun. And until next week, be safe, look after one another, and remember to always believe.